Chapter 664 The Result of Greed Luli When the young female went to get water, Ken Lai murmured and couldn't help but reminisce the past. He still remembered how Jiayu Lai Yu had passed through Ling Town and discovered Ling Yuxi and Ling Zhuangzi. She had wanted to take the sisters as disciples and take them to Seven Fiends Valley. At the time, Ling Yuxi had not wanted to leave and wavered. In the end, he had been the one to urge Ling Yuxi to leave Ling Town. When he had forced himself to push Ling Yuxi out of the little room, Lu Li had floated over and shoved a natal ordering pill through the door. She told him to forget Ling Yuxi, and said that he and Ling Yuxi were of different worlds. They would never have a chance to meet again. Even now, he still remembered Lu Li's hubris and coldness. However, when he and Song Tina had been trapped in the Nether Realm, and when the new Valley Master of Dark Fiend Valley, Sheng Mian, had wanted to marry Ling Yuxi off to Li Zongzing as a concubine, it had been Lu Li who had notified the Ling family, and Azure Hall's two Zen Zhao Qian. She created a chance for the Ling family to escape, and in the end, he had managed to save the Ling family. Lu Li was cold to him, but she was good to Ling Yuxi and Ling Zhuangzi. She had helped them many times. Right now, she was being imprisoned in Seven Fiends Valley because she had lent a helping hand to the Ling family in the past, and caused Sheng Mian and Jia Songling to die. Qin Lai frowned and devised a plan. He decided to help Lu Li get free after he has recovered to repay her on behalf of the Ling family. Boom. The crystalline war chariot that had been soaring in the air suddenly fell from the sky due to the inexpert control of the youths from the Seven Fiends Valley. The martial practitioners who had been squeezed on the chariot were bruised blue and green. They started to swear and curse, blaming others for the incident. Pei Xiang, what are you doing? A martial practitioner from Goldfiend Valley shouted. What did you find from that burnt body? Someone else asked. Ah? Huh? The young female had filled the water skins and was walking back to Kin Lai. She was just inches away from Kin Lai. She was startled by the shot. After an exclamation, she hurriedly said, No, nothing. He's completely burned. The young female was called Pei Xiang. She was only a lowly disciple of Dark Fiend Valley. Her cultivation was low and her status was nothing special. The Seven Fiends Valley was made from the mystical, dark, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth fiend valleys. In the past, mystical fiend valley and dark fiend valley were the strongest, and the other five were slightly weaker. However, after the former dark valley master, Jiayu Laiyu, and the following valley master, Sheng Mian, were both killed by Qin Lai, dark fiend valley declined, eventually becoming the weakest valley of Seven Fiends Valley. They didn't even have a valley master chosen. Due to this, Pei Xiang who came from dark fiend valley was someone without any status among the group. Impossible. A martial practitioner from Goldfiend Valley reacted and shouted, This person rode on the Crystalline War Chariot. Someone like that was definitely wealthy. He definitely has good things. Someone screamed, Let's go see. The Seven Fiends Valley martial practitioners on the Crystalline War Chariot became excited. Pei Xiang's expression changed. Seeing the crowd come toward Qin Lai, she lost her calm. Water, pour the water on me. Qin Lai said in a low voice, Pei Xiang was actually very close to Qin Lai. Hearing this, she pulled out a corks of the two water skins and splashed the water inside on Qin Lai according to his orders. She also reminded him, hide the rings on your hand. The two bags of water turned into two streams that poured over the surface of Qin Lai's body. Wondrously, Qin Lai's burnt body greedily sucked up every drop of water like a sponge. That burnt and shriveled body started to swell up at an astounding speed after being replenished with the two bags of water. Pei Xiang gaped with wide eyes. At this time, the martial practitioners from Seven Fiends Valley had already come over from the Crystalline War Chariot. They surrounded Qin Lai and Pei Xiang. Spatial rings. Three spatial rings. Exclaimed one of the group, his gaze filling up with obvious greed. Heavens. This person is really wealthy to wear three spatial rings. Quick, take the rings off. See what is inside. There must be great treasures. There definitely are. Everyone became excited. Everyone's eyes flashed with burning light as their shoulders trembled uncontrollably. He's still alive. Pei Xiang said urgently. Alive? He's still alive? The expression of the Goldfiend Valley Martial Practitioner, Yin Cheng, darkened. Nonsense. He is burnt black. How can he still be alive? As he spoke, Yin Cheng made his way through the group and walked towards Qin Lai, under everyone's covetous gaze. Yin Cheng moved forward and prepared to take the spatial rings off Qin Lai's fingers. Yet when he saw Qin Lai's burnt hand and fingers, he showed an expression of distaste and then suddenly took out a dagger. You, what are you doing? Pei Xiang yelled. Since he's already dead, I'll just cut off his finger. It will be easier to take off the spatial rings that way. Yin Cheng's expression was dark. This guy is already like this. He might be poisoned. If I touch his finger, I may get infected. It will be better to be more cautious. He's alive. I just said that he's still alive. Pei Xiang was extremely anxious. Move away. Yin Cheng waved his hand. A golden curtain of light flashed and threw Pei Xiang far away. Don't block me. The other martial practitioners from Seven Fiends Valley glared coldly at Pei Xiang. One of them said coldly, You want to get a share? Pei Xiang has stayed by this corpse for so long. She must have gotten something. Maybe. She got something already? One person had a puzzled expression. She didn't take the three spatial rings immediately but went to take water. Maybe the rings were too hot so she was using water to lower the temperature. It must be like this. This whore must have gotten something already. Search her. The other people discussed and then stared with unfriendliness at Pei Xiang. Three martial practitioners from Fire Fiend Valley snorted and moved towards Pei Xiang. One of them said maliciously, Pei Xiang, take off your clothes, empty your pockets, let us inspect you and then we will spare you. How can you do this? Pei Xiang was so anxious she was about to cry. Even if he is dead, 
Someone that had ridden a crystalline war chariot must have had something good on them. That person's eyes flashed with more and more greed. For us, just a small thing from him could change our lives. So we will definitely not let anything pass. Yin Cheng and these people moved into two groups. One targeting Qin Lai, the other staring at Pei Xiang. With the temptation of the enormous wealth that could exist, their greed was stirred. They all wanted to use this chance to change their fate. No one wanted to miss this one in a thousandth chance. Friend, no matter if you are alive or dead, I will have these three spatial rings. Yin Cheng snorted. His dagger flashed with golden light as he sliced down. Clang. The dagger landed on Qin Lai's burnt finger but it actually sparked as though it had cut on iron. A bright yellow earth light suddenly released from Qin Lai's hand and formed a gentle but strong barrier. Yin Cheng changed expression. He suddenly realized it was not good. Whether or not someone was dead, if he could not cut the other's finger off when they were lying motionlessly and completely burned, it meant that he couldn't afford to offend them. A ray of icy light flashed across Qin Lai's hand. BSS. The three water skins hanging at Yin Cheng's belt were penetrated by the icy light. The water that was held inside poured out. All of the water landed on Qin Lai's dry body. All of the water was completely absorbed by Qin Lai without a drop left. Thump thump. Like a drum beat, Qin Lai's heart beat loudly from his chest and caused Yin Cheng to change expression. You want my spatial rings? At this time, Qin Lai opened his eyes and slowly sat up. He grinned at Yin Cheng. Yin Cheng's soul left his body. TSK TSK. Shaking his head, Qin Lai said disdainfully, Your thinking is good. Pity. But even if I am dead, you might not be able to take my spatial rings. Let alone when I am not dead. As he spoke, Qin Lai stood up and reached his hands towards Yin Cheng's head. Bam! Yin Cheng bled from all of his orifices, and his head seemed to shrink back into his neck as he died immediately.